I also didn't get a chance to see some of the RNC highlights, so one second, let's see. But what happened last week when they took a shot at my hero? And they tried to kill the next president of the United States. Enough was enough. And I said, let trump mania run wild, brother. Let trump mania rule again. But what happened last week? You guys know that, like, IQ meme? IQ, the guy on the left who's a dumb who thinks something, and then the guy on the right who's, like, super smart? This, this meme? This one. Here's the dumb fuck who says, I just do whatever I feel like. And then here's like the average person. I visualize my future make a 10-year vision, set smart goals, break those down into productive daily routines, discipline beats motivation. And then the super smart guy that's like, I just do whatever I feel like. The bell curve IQ meme. This is how I feel, but except on the left and the right, it's commentary regarding idiocracy. I feel like the dumbest motherfuckers on the planet are always the first people to be like, this is just like idiocracy, but every once in a while, okay, you can say this is just like idiocracy and you're the guy on the right. Because man, oh my God, a wrestler getting on stage and talking like a wrestler about politics? Holy moly. Because like Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't getting on stage and pulling this shit. Maybe once in a while is like a joke, but he actually like talks like a politician when he's in his office. Um, yeah. Yeah. There was this post as well. If you do makeup for male politicians on TV, I would love to interview you. This is a serious request. Dude. What's going on there? What's happening? What's with the yassification? <laughs> it's important to know this. Hogan is not only a racist, this guy is also a union buster. He got involved in Scientology, Scientology and is a notorious liar. You know, the one thing I will say, I'm glad all of us can agree, agree that as soon as someone says that they're a Scientologist, we can immediately discard their opinion. Like, all of us can agree with that. Are those ears edited? Dude, he's giving, like... Tolkien elf. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, this was a tweet that uh, Elon Musk enjoyed. I don't have the quote tweet of his, but Elon Musk quote tweeted this one saying like, wow, honestly true. And it's every recent movie on Netflix White man is the villain. Black man is the hero. Gay guy is the voice of reason. Woman has the balls. Dad is an idiot. Mom is the breadwinner. Children are sexualized. And I just have to say, you literally can't name a single movie like this. <laughs> name me one movie. One. Just what? Just like literally name me one movie like this. <laughs> Are there movies where s one of these is true? Yeah. Yes, there are lots of movies where white men are villains. There are lots of movies where black men can be. Sorry, black man is the the hero. I I misspoke. I apologize. My apologies. Children being sexualized is such a weird addition. Yeah. Idiot dad has been a trope since like sitcom days. Oh yeah. No, like idiot dad has been around probably at least since the 80s. What the hell is this chat message dog? Hello? <laughs> Monka. <laughs> I think the last one on the list is the con is what conservatives would like. The last one is like demands. They're like, put this in for us, please. 
Anyways. I mean, I can name a film about each category, but not one has all seven. Yeah, there, there's not a single, there's not a, I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, also, man, I know, I know that this is like straight up broken clock, but, or not broken clock, but a broken record right now. Yeah, he's buddies with someone who says his daughter is sexy. Dude, yes. Uh, but anyways, I know I'm a broken record at this point, but like, man, AI is just so bad. Look at this. Chat GPT. This is the most recent version, the most updated, advanced version. 9.11 and 9.9. .9. Which one is bigger? Chat GPT says 9.11 is bigger than 9.9. .9. Can you subtract them? To subtract 9.9 .9 from 9.11, you perform the following calculation. 9.11 minus 9.9 .9 equals 0.21. Use Python. The result of subtracting 9.9 .9 from 9.11 .9 in Python is 0.70, negative 0.79. This discrepancy is due to the way that floating point arithmetic is handled in Python, which can lead to small precision errors. The actual intended result should be 0.21. I'll never stop being amazed that we invented a computer that cannot do math. That's like their whole thing. Uh, some trumpets that I would like to show you. No, not that. That's for in a sec. Not yet. Not yet. This one. I know gun-free zones. Okay, so m more guns. Yep. Can't fight fire with water. You gotta fight fire with fire. You can't fight fire with water? That's right. You can't fight no fire with water. What if it's a grease fire, you stupid liberals? Yeah. Yeah. Depends on what's in the fire. They specifically do fight fire with water. Yeah. Well, I know about all that. Yeah, that's, that's... You listen to the mainstream media nowadays? Let me guess. Two plus two equals five. Yeah. <laughs> As someone running for state house, I am also about more guns. My real reaction to that information. So anyways, going back to what we were talking about. <laughs> All right. Uh, there is now a counter to the most annoying guy on the planet. What's his name? The guy who makes those videos that's like, <laughs> so let me get this straight. People hate trans fat, but now suddenly we love trans people. Oh, okay. Got it. What's that guy's name? Annoying piece of shit 5.0. What's his name? All the right things is that date right stuff or something. God, man, that guy just like. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> if you have nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. Just kidding. I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. He's so annoying. Oh, my God. My dude, thank you for the 17 months. <laughs> uh, let me go to his TikTok. Well, let's, let's see. If gender doesn't exist, what do gender studies students study? If gender... Oh, you get it, guys? It's so funny, because, like, he's like, if it doesn't, like, you... Oh, my God. Gender doesn't exist in, like, the way that math doesn't exist. There, there is nowhere you, on this planet where, like, math is this physical thing. However, you can study it and create things using these concepts. 
a social construct like gender, it doesn't mean that gender is completely um, devoid in our universe. It's that it's a social construct and there is nothing innate about it. There's nowhere that you're going to go that shows you that gender is real. Like, there's no, like, sand dune that has, like, the secrets of gender in there. It's, it's, it's abstract. It's not tangible. It, like, yeah, it doesn't exist physically. It exists socially. Exactly. But this is two concept. Uh, men and women? Question mark. That's sex. Ooh, so close. Do you guys know what I'm referencing when I say the so close meme? The oh, so close. That is a fruit. Money is made up, dude, and yet he probably has an Ekam degree. No. <laughs> Fun fact, blueberries are the only fruit named after a color. Star fruit, question mark? Ooh, it's so close. That's a shape. <laughs> I, just, I want you guys to know that this is what I'm referencing every time I talk about this. Okay. <laughs> Penis and vagina existing doesn't mean that social construct of gender exists in a tangible, meaningful way. That is why different animals have different requirements for the different sexes that exist. That's why female hyenas have fake penises that can get hard, that are bigger than male penises. That's why. Female lions go and do hunting. Gender is how do the sexes in our world perform their roles in society? The whole like men wearing pants thing, we, we made that up. Women wearing skirts, we made that up. We decided we want people who look like this to act this way. Gender abolition suggests Actually, we're kind of all like people and we should do whatever we want to do. Actually. No force gender roles, yeah. So gender is an abstract concept that exists. Gender roles are things that we invented um, because, <laughs> because human beings can't help themselves, basically. <laughs> With birds, the fruity looking ones are the guys and the plain ones are usually the girls. Yeah, that's another good example. Like in human beings, generally women wear makeup and elaborate clothing and whatever, blah, blah, blah. With birds, almost every single bird type, the more colorful one is the male bird, fruity, <laughs> and... The less colorful one is usually the female bird. Uh, most notably, have you guys seen a peacock? One's in chat if you've seen a, a female peacock. Two's in chat if you haven't seen a female peacock. Here is the illustrious male peacock we all know and love. Here is the... Not so illustrious female peacock. <laughs> because doing so is beneficial to the fitness of the human population. Uh, that would be true if all the decisions that human beings made were beneficial. The thing is, we've been doing lots of stuff that has not been beneficial for a very long time. Uh, the easiest, fastest example that everyone is familiar with is foot binding. Women in ancient China binding their feet to make them smaller is not beneficial by any stretch of the imagination. It's actually terrible for you. And there are lots of examples, probably thousands or tens of thousands of examples of human beings inventing stuff that makes them worse. Why are you comparing humans with animals? Because animals are devoid of social construct. Not quite devoid of social construct, to be clear, because they do perform certain behaviors, but they don't have the ability for uh, advanced speech in the way that we do. And so they are a more pure version of human beings. 
that's like if you took away humans' abilities to have long term thinking and planning, um, most animals would just exist, right? Um, also, human beings are animals. We just have this brain that's oversized that makes us contemplate death. Um, so we can very easily compare human beings with animals because that's what we would be without the extra brain that makes us speculate concepts that are beyond our understanding. Our entire st story is humans getting trapped into evolutionary pitfalls and rationalizing after the fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure where, but some people put metal rings on their necks that elongates their necks, but makes them weak if they're removed. Yeah, I forget. This is another one that probably everyone in here um, knows about. One's in chat if you, you've seen this. Two's if you haven't seen this. I think anyone who's had like an American education has heard about this. Uh, neck rings, or, or, neck rings, or neck rings are a for any form of stiff jewelry worn as an ornament around the neck um, of the individual, as opposed to a loose necklace. Many cultures have, many cultures and periods have made neck rings with both male and females wearing them at various times. Of the two most notable type, one is the torque, an often heavy and valuable ornament, uh, normally open at the throat. Uh, these are worn by various early cultures, but especially okay, whatever. Illusion of elongation. In a few African and Asian cultures, neck rings are usually worn to create the appearance that the neck has been stretched. The custom of wearing neck rings is related to an ideal of beauty, an elongated neck. Neck rings push the clavicle and ribs down. The neck stretch is mostly illusory. Uh, the weight of the rings twists the collarbone and eventually the upper ribs at an angle of 45 degrees lower than what is natural, causing the illusion of an elongated neck. The vertebrae do not elongate, though the space between them may increase as the invertebral discs absorb liquid. The custom requires that girls who wear the neck rings start before puberty in order to get the body used to them. These heavy coils can weigh as much as 11 pounds. This idea that human beings only do things that are beneficial to us is complete nonsense. We do, we have been, and we always will be, doing stuff that makes no fucking sense because human beings are so fucking weird. And the entirety of, like, consciousness is an insane concept to exist. Just to elevate social status? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Humans are not rational by nature? No. Human beings do ra irrational things all the time. All the time. We're emotional creatures that are sometimes logical. That is the best way to put it. Yes. We're capable of making logical assumptions or conclusions from something, but our decision-making is usually driven by emotions. Anyways, yeah, this guy fucking sucks. This guy is so annoying. Um, he's just like a smart guy for stupid people, basically, is the best way to explain it. Um, let me see if I can find... You're not getting a tattoo. You're only 16. What if you regret that when you're older? You want to get a sex change? Of course. I'll take you to the doctor tomorrow. Liberal logic. It's like, show me one hospital in the United States that is performing sex changes for children in the United States that is not on intersex people, specifically cis kids who were the were an assigned gender at birth and want to change their gender at birth. All of the instances, by the way, of hospitals that perform gender assignment or gender confirming surgery are in relation to people who are intersex. Every single one. It's people who maybe have androgen insensitivity syndrome, which is you have a XY chromosomes, but you present totally female because your body did not produce the androgen that it was supposed to. And so a lot of those people, we generally let those people decide what their gender is because they're in this weird section here where we're like, oh, well, you're not fitting in the binary of female or male. 
and your hormones are not easily classifiable in these two binaries. So we'll let you do what you want to do. What would make you happiest and most comfortable? Would you like to be the gender that is associated with your chromosomes? Or would you like to be the gender that is associated with how your body naturally developed? What would you like? Because that's kind of your decision to make. And it's weird for anyone else to make that decision for you. That would be one example. That would be one example. And a lot of the times when people post hospitals that are performing gender reassignment surgery, um, you'll find that they're actually posting hospitals that perform gender confirming or uh, gender reaffirming surgery for kids who are intersex, who just already at birth did not fit neatly into male or female. But I would love to see one example of a hospital that's actually doing anything else. <laughs> Just please, please. Trans people are literally that, but neurological. I can't help that my parietal lobe maps out to a male body. Yeah. This is another common thing that like people don't understand. So welcome, Catholic collector. Um, sorry, I'm like thinking. Okay. Uh, anyways. Yeah, this is another thing that like I think rhydoids don't understand, which is that the these the, it's not just soft science that exists on trans people. There's a lot of hard science on trans people. Uh, there's a lot of interesting studies that show that um, the way that um, assigned men at birth or assigned male at birth brains light up are very similar to the way that, or almost the same as the way that uh, um, trans men's brains light up. And then you take a bunch of like, let's say this is a very crude description to be very clear. OK, but it's just to illustrate a point. And if someone has the actual information, uh, please, I would be happy to see it. But here's one example. Uh, you take. Let's say you take a, a cis man. Let's call it 100 cis men. Right. And here's their brain. And you show them a lot of information, a lot of data, whatever, lots of pictures, lots of words, blah, 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 blah. And this part of their brain lights up. And then you take 100 cis women. It's like a, it's turning into a, um, uh, a Mr. Beast video. I took 100 cis men and 100 cis women. You'll never believe what happens. Okay, and then here's the female brain. And for some reason with cis women, this is where the brain lit up. What's interesting is, when they took trans people and had them also run these tests and they hooked up all these wires in their brain or whatever and MRIs or whatever the fuck, um, what they actually saw was that trans men, their brains lit up in the same way that cis men's brains lit up and trans women, their brain lit up in the same way that cis women's brains lit up. So it seems like the instances of dis gender dysphoria and trans people existing is based in some type of biological thing. It is a biological reality. And there's a lot more information. This is a very crude understanding of it, but just to explain. Or how about something else? Like the fact that... um. <laughs> We now have a species of rat that has male rats with male gender, oh, sorry, male reproductive organs, but they're missing their XY chromosome. And we don't understand how that is happening. So now scientists believe that uh, your sex is actually not linked to your chromosome. It just happens to be correlated with your chromosome. Because like we understand why the Y chromosome is disappearing. It's because it's harder to pair Ys with Xs because they're not perfectly symmetrical. Basically, when you're pairing chromosomes, they pair like this. But um, because the Y has the other end, blah, 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 it, the Y chromosome can theoretically disappear in a couple hundred million years. And so we have these like spined rats in uh, Japan, I think, where the Y chromosome has disappeared and scientists don't understand how the male reproductive organs are still being created without the Y chromosome. Here it is. 
For any mammal, the loss of a Y chromosome should mean the loss of males and the demise of the species. So how is it that the Amami spiny rat manages without the Y chromosome? Has puzzled biologists for a decade now. So we understand why it's disappearing. Here we go. Uh, the Y chromosome in many mammals, including us, has been shrinking over 10 million, uh, tens of millions of years and could eventually disappear. The spiny rat shows how this might happen. Um, this happens because the Y chromosome contains a gene called SRY that switches on male genes. Another chromosome, more importantly, the SOX9 gene that triggers the development of testes. And then basically it's the way that it pairs. Short story, okay? You guys are welcome to look into it yourself and figure it out and understand how it works. Exactly. But we don't understand how the males are still being born. <laughs> we take this fucking male rat and we're like, how the fuck do you got a tiny dick and balls if you have no Y chromosome? How the fuck is this happening? You just like vibed your way into having a dick and balls? What? Wait, so what is what? If it's not the Y chromosome that gives you dick and balls, what gives you the dick and balls? What is doing it? <laughs> Wait, we don't understand. So these people love to simplify it and be like, oh, ha ha ha, trans people, we made it all up. And then they don't ever bother look into any of the actual hard science that we have where we're just like, wait, this whole gender thing is like way more confusing than we thought it was, actually. We thought it was a very simple men, women, in Nick Mark's words, penis, dude, vagina, girl. But actually it's more complicated than that and we don't understand everything because it's really complicated. That's so weird, fuck. And yeah, this is another, uh, Common misconception, but it's very important. Chromosomes determine sex like in determinism where something caused a chain reaction. It doesn't determine sex like determining who committed a crime when you're figuring out what the case is. The termination is an explanation of the past, not the present. Like how the temperature of the eggs in turtles determines their uh, sex. That does not determine, oh, sorry, that determine is not a description of the present, but the, rather the past. Something that, so something other than the chromosomes are causing that chain reaction in those rats now. Well, that's like one explanation, right? Um, science I care that I care more about is related to how the brain responds uh, to bodily sensation. The study I linked shows that trans men's brain reacts severely different to physio physical touch on body parts. Their brain doesn't map compared to cis women. Women. Uh, the conclusion being that trans man trans men's brains literally do not consider the breast as a body part that belongs to them in the same way that women's brains do. This is all in the parietal lobe. Think motor and physical touch of the brain, not the emotions part. Wow, that's interesting. I haven't, I don't know if I've actually seen this study. I knew that like they've done brain mapping scans and they have found that uh, trans men tend to align uh, way more often with cis men than the other, than like with cis women. Um, but this is cool. Let's see if we can get some pictures. Pictures. <laughs> what is this image? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, I'll have to read this. Oh, maybe some more pictures. Okay, so this is num this is letter A, uh chest cisgender. Wait, wait, chest versus hand. The whole the group X body site interaction yield two significant clusters of voxels, one for lower activation in the uh, female to male group for the chest versus hand sensation in the primary sens uh, sensorometer cortex, intraperitoneal uh, sulcus in the zero to thirty second uh, millisecond time window, and the other for greater activation for chest versus hand sensation in the female to male group in the med medial temporal lobe. So basically. A, chest cisgender, female to male, lateral view of the right hemisphere. B, chest, female to male, cisgender, ventral view of the right hemisphere. C, chest hand subtraction. Okay, well, I'll have to look at this later to actually sit here and figure this shit out before I make any significant comments, but...
we found preliminary evidence of differences in neural response to sensation from the chest and female to male individuals, possibly mediated by the differences in anatomical connectivity compared with cisgender, non-trans female individuals. Female to male individuals show less activation of supermarginal gyrus and, okay, okay, more activation of temporal lobe, suggesting less integration, more anxiety, and alarm for sensation from this body part. Interesting. Further, increased white matter FA was found in the same regions. While the current study cannot discern the origin of the differences, our results suggest that aversion to gender incongruous body parts is rapid and automatic at the sensory level. These differences may contribute to the experiences of discomfort and incongruence uh, caused by the sensation in these body parts. Wow, that's cool. Anyways, sorry, I got, I got, I nerded out for a second. My bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Enough nerding, okay? TLDR, this guy's a fucking dipshit and he's pretending like the issues are way more simple than they actually are. And this is absolutely correct. They ignore science and they don't believe any of it when it goes against their argument. Their response in the brain you were talking about earlier, they would just point to it and say that it confirms it's just mental illness or something really stupid like that. Yeah. Yeah. And also, also none of this stuff is new information. We've had a lot. Yeah, we've had this information for a very long time. Um, but we now have someone to defeat this man. Okay. You guys know how they say we need guns so that we can have good guys with guns to beat the bad guys with guns. We now have the white man to defeat the other white man. Let's go. So a Republican gets shot by a registered Republican using a gun that Democrats tried to ban and somehow it's the Democrats' fault? Got it. <laughs> oh, this one, this one's good too. <laughs> So immigrants are taking all our jobs and they're too lazy to work? Got it. <laughs> Wait, are these not the same guy? These are different guys. They're guys, not all white people are the same, okay? You can tell they're different guys because this guy is repping his natural, beautiful white skin. And this guy is a fake white person, okay? He's trying to put on the Trump orange glow because he's ashamed of his whiteness. Pathetic, unbelievable, disgusting. Can you believe it? Fake tan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Frito fake. <laughs> uh, deep throwing that glizzy. Yeah, I'm a little uncomfortable with how big of a bite he took on that. I was like, dude, chill, chill. It's not that serious. Oh my God. He's hiding his white behind a sepia Mexico filter. Sub to denims. Got it. Got it. So subbing to denims makes me cool. 